And moving on, we're going to take a look at the Packers Vikings 1 p.m. Eastern kickoff on September 13th. That's a Sunday. The Vikings are the two and a half point favorite. Totals 46 flat. The Packers are plus a dollar 15 for an outright win. And if you like Green Bay catching the two and a half, they're plus a dollar to cover the number. Now the Packers lost. Uh, Geronimo Allison, Jimmy Graham, Brian Balaga, and Blake Martinez in the offseason. Uh, two of those guys actually staying within the division. The Packers were blasted by the 49ers in the NFC Championship, and they failed to cover the number in two out of their final three games of 2019. Green Bay was in the top 10 in most rushing yards allowed per game, top 10 in most yards allowed per play. They also averaged less than 22 points per contest on the road last season and finished in the bottom three in offensive yards per play away from home. Now they're taking on a Minnesota team who finished in the top 10 in rushing yards per game last season. And Kirk Cousins said, if he dies, he dies, meaning himself, which was weird. But anyway, the Vikings covered the number in four out of their final six games and finished in the top 10 in fewest yards allowed per play. This Minnesota defense gave up less than 20 points per contest for the entire 2019 season. Eric Kendricks led the Vikings defense in tackles with 110 in the regular season, 12 pass breakups, and four and a half tackles for loss. Kendricks also forced two fumbles and recovered a pair. Daniil Hunter led the team in sacks with 14 and a half. He forced three fumbles and had 18 tackles for loss. And safety Anthony Harris led the club in interceptions with six of them from that safety position. 11 pass breakups and a pick six. The Vikings also averaged nearly 25 points a game at home, and they finished in the top 10 in home rushing yards per contest. Dalvin Cook rushed for over 1,100 yards in the regular season, 13 touchdowns, 81 yards a game on average. He also caught 53 balls out of the backfield for a total of 519 yards. And if you're into historical trends, this Vikings club has successfully covered the number in five out of their last six season openers. Now, total-wise, four out of the Vikings' last six games stayed under the posted total. They also saw their last five straight games hosting the Packers stay under the line as well. Meanwhile, Green Bay on the other side, well, they saw their last nine straight divisional games stay under the number themselves. Eight out of their last ten head-to-head meetings with Minnesota also stayed under the line. So with all that said and done, give me the Minnesota Vikings minus two and a half and the under 46 in that contest. Next matchup, Bears taking on the Lions. 1 p.m. Eastern kickoff at Ford Field. The Lions are the three-point favorite at home. Totals 44 flat. The Bears are plus a buck and a quarter for an outright win. And if you like Chicago catching the three, uh, they are minus a buck 15 to cover the number. Now, the Bears won 